Hi, Terry Rowland at T. Rose Studios. This is my year in review 2022. Travel restrictions were lifted, so I jumped on a plane and headed to Vancouver to Quilt Canada. There, I met up and reconnected with several old friends and met many, many new friends. While there, I also was the representative for our guild in the Guild Challenge, which won viewer's choice. I was so excited. Then I taught three different classes. One was the vintage sewing machine class, uh, also a Kiwandi hand piecing uh, technique class, and then again, the Raven Beauty collage class. My next trip was to Yellowknife. I had so much fun going out in the, the town and taking pictures with some of my quilted items around in the wild. It's so much fun taking pictures when you've got great backdrops like they've got up there. I actually found the biggest chia pet I had ever seen. It was a muskox. I taught two classes there, the Kawandi hand piecing technique and the Raven beauty class. Closer to home, in Altario, La Porte, Saskatchewan, Bicicker at Never Done Quilting, I taught the um, stained glass class. <clears throat> Prince George, BC, and Red Deer had me take the elephant abstractions class. More Kawandi classes in Calgary, two at Out of Hand Quilting, and one at the Quiet Mouse Quilt Guild. Medicine Hat had me teach um, the Kwandi class also. This class was taught in Cremona, and Airdrie had me do the uh, paperless paper piecing class. In-person retreats were back on, so I made the most of that. I also took a couple of classes, the barn painting class, <clears throat> and also the rope bowl class. While at Tracy's, you never know what kind of shenanigans we're going to be up to, but we had lots of fun. I also did a huge trunk show at Tracy's. It was so much fun reconnecting with everybody that showed up. We had a great time um, sharing my love of quilting with others. I also did trunk shows at Medicine Hat and also in Yellowknife. It's just so much fun to share my love with others. Stephen from the Idiot Quilter contacted me and did an interview on my journey as a quilter. You should check that out. Kate from The Last Homely House joined in on my scrap challenge and she encouraged her followers to come over to my channel and check out my technique on making this quilt. I want to thank everybody that follows me on Facebook, Instagram, and on my YouTube channel. I hope I can inspire you again in 2023.